Hi, Travis Hartley at Food Warming Equipment, here to talk to you today about our new available touchscreen controls, which is an accessory you can add on to a number of different cabinets. So let's get right into it. You can see this particular model is a humidified unit. This is a PHTT CV series. You've got both temperature and relative humidity settings. So you just use the up and down arrows to adjust any of your settings. But really the true benefit of these controls is the ability to have both HACCP download capability as well as built-in shelf timers to be able to control the flow of your operation. So as far as the HACCP update is concerned, this unit will capture all of your temperature and relative humidity if applicable for that particular model, all that information as well as the time durations of the hold, and save it for the last 30 days of runtime and just have that running in the background. And if at any point you want to download it, you put in the USB, go into the settings menu, and you can pull that down in about a 30 second period. So we'll go ahead and show the timers now because that's really the main advantage of this particular control. So you can see this timer icon in the top right. We'll tap that, and now it's still gonna show the temperature and relative humidity settings, but now you can see we've got four shelf timers shown here, and you can set this up to where you can track from one shelf position or one pan position up to 12. So it's, it's really up to you and how many things you wanna track at once. If there's more than four, you're gonna see we're gonna have those on a secondary screen, and if you had 12, there'd just be one more screen beyond that. So as far as setting the times, you press and hold any of these ones you wanna track for about five seconds. You're gonna hear that audible beep, and now you can see you get into reset it. So if you wanna do two minutes, because this is all set by minutes, you just press two. For this example, we're just gonna keep it at one. Hit check to lock it in. And now you can see we've got their one minute timer. We're gonna go ahead and start that one. And let's say we had some other product in position three, we'll start that one as well. So now you can see it's counting down in seconds. Now, when we're setting it, you are just setting in full minutes. So if you say you had set it for 10 minutes or three minutes, what you would see is that next minute down, it would just show a two or a one until it gets sub one minute and then it's gonna actually show the countdown in seconds like you see here. So again, we're only showing four on this screen here. If you had you know, five and six running additional items, you could certainly put those in there. And again, if you had up to 12, you could do that. Now, these don't have to tie to a specific shelf position. This could be a particular pan product. Maybe you've got some small number placards that are placed throughout the cabinet and you wanna be able to track maybe a small amount of product. You could certainly do that. Maybe it's for a more sensitive item. And again, we can count up or count down depending on what your operations preference is. You know, some people wanna see how long something's been holding. Some people wanna know um, you know, if they know that their maximum threshold for that particular product happens to be 45 minutes, that's what they want to run the timer at so they're not wasting product. So now you can see that timer's expired and you can see it's now flashing yellow and white. Now if we want to reset that, we just press and hold for a couple seconds and that's going to default it right back to that same time we had set prior. Same thing for position three, hold it for a couple seconds and there we go, it's reset and ready to go for the next round. So. Again, this is a really nice option that keeps you from having to have a separate timer. It's built there right in the screen, right where the product is, and gives you a really nice touch screen option. So we can go back out. And so if you wanna use the timers, they're there. If you don't, you can actually disable it in the background and just use them as you see fit. Thank you very much.